Hello and welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchy Steve and today I'm joined by all these fine nerds, which uh, Robin, Carlos, and Steven, you can find their links down in the description below. But not only that, you can find information about Zoo Mafia, like where to download the Quick Start rules for free and you can start playing with your game, your friends at uh, your own tables. Um, and we're going to be playing Season 2 with our uh, esteemed GM, which we call a zookeeper here. And that is Nerdarchist Ted. I'm handing it over to you. Hey, everybody. We're on session seven of the Central City Zoo, or season two, if you want to call it. Uh, a grittier, darker zoo where, you know, as always with Zoo Mafia, we try to go wild, do crime, but don't let the humans catch you. You can always head over to ZooMafiaRPG.com and get access to our newsletter. Or you could head over to Nerdarchy the store and check out all of the uh, quick start rules and form fillable PDFs to uh, get access and play this game. If you do, feel free to you know check us out and or contact us and let us know how the games are going. So without further ado, let's uh, you know throw it on to the players. Let them describe who they are and what they remember from last season. Or, yeah, last session, and uh, that's gonna be Carlos. What's good, internet? Uh, my name is Carlos Rivera. I run the Volcanic Night YouTube channel. I'm playing Arnold Shortman, and it is great to be back in America, you know? Uh, be back in my little setup here for, with you all. Um, what I remember very vividly in the last session was um, I had a chance to dress up as... Um, uh, chains uh charlie chains and uh we started macking on uh some lovely ostriches jenny jangles and you know everything's are going great you know i'm playing both sides of the field at this point um but with that i'm going to pass it on to dave <laughs> All right, hello everyone. I'm playing Tully the Speedster Mickey. Uh, he's the driver. And so we had a three pronged attack that we launched upon our enemy, uh, Carlo Hambino. Uh, and apparently, Carlo Hambino uses a lot of birds, surprisingly, uh, in, in, his, in his gangs. Um, is that right, Ted? Or am I confusing our. our no, I'll. Uh, while, while Carlo Hambino's uh, forces were down to try and get the stock. Oh, now I remember. Back. We were trying to even out the things and keep everybody down. So we launched our attack on Al Capone. Three, three pronged attack. We went against all of their heavies, heavies at the same time. And it went just how you thought it would go. Um, I mean, we didn't do them all at the same time. But it, during the same session, close enough. Um, yeah, there was the pink ladies. Uh, there was uh, Brad Spit and his cronies, and uh, then there was uh, Jenny Jangles, the ostrich, as mentioned. And we took several different tactics in order to try and out get them out of action, and romance played very heavily into it. With that, I'll throw it to Robin. Yeah, the thing that I was going to say is that you have a date with every single one of the pink ladies upcoming, all of them at once, at the same time. That's going to be really interesting. Um, who? Oh, oh, right. I'm playing Kinsey. I'm a Chinese alligator. I um am like twenty pounds of crazy in a ten pound bag. Uh, who's next? Who has not gone? Stephen, have you gone? Me. Okay. Um. So yeah, things were super bird themed last time because we crashed through the aviary and set it on fire, like we do. Right. We love some fire around here. And then uh after that. Uh, we also, oh, during that, I should say, Arnold decided to put Hambino's name in his mouth like he's been doing, which is kind of a whole thing and could bite us in the butt. We're not really sure yet. Um, but, uh, they think it was Hambino that did this, right? Um, because he was also disguised as Charlie Chains for that, apparently. Um, and, uh, Arnold is our grifter and master of disguise. It's great. Um, and, uh, so then we went and, uh, Tully tried to seduce some flamingos while Arnold as Charlie Chains tried to seduce an ostrich named somebody jangles. Oh gosh. I can't remember her. Jenny. Name. 
What'd you say? It's Ginny, isn't it? Ginny, Ginny Jangle. That's right. And now we're going to have like a date happening. I'm not sure if the date with Arnold and Ginny is also happening. Um, There was definitely like a noir style movie scene where Arnold as uh, Charlie Chains was like, run away with me and we'll leave our gangs and we'll go together. It will be great. And it was, it was great. pretty good. Um, I'm going to leave it there actually, because I'm not sure where we're picking up. <laughs> uh, so we're going to pick up uh, the following evening. Uh, you guys have had a ch- chance to rest, do whatever preparations that uh, you're looking to do uh, for at least the two of you that are planning to go on said dates. Uh, I hope you've got your, uh, you know, your, your thoughts and plans in order with how that's all going to go or how you think it's going to go. So while you're thinking about that, I'm going to go over to Frenzy and Roscoe. What is your plan? for the evening, knowing what it is that Tully and Arnold are planning to do. So, um, our friends are going on dates, right? Right. So, um, we could spy on them and get blackmail material, or alternatively, we we could cause mischief as we do. So, we could either spy on our friends or commit other crimes, or we could spy on our friends and commit other crimes. Both is good. I like both. <laughs> All right. We got a plan. What crimes are we committing exactly? Well, I mean, you know, they're probably going to go to a venue or something. I imagine people are going to be distracted. We could do some petty pickpocketing or maybe see if we can find somebody who's somebody at the venue and see if we can get to give any dirt on them. Since our friends will be there in the open, so they'll be keeping an eye over there and not on us. This is true. I like this idea. I don't know how much Tully, I don't know how much Tully informed you, but he was planning to take the pink ladies on a drive. Okay, so not a venue for you. Um, that's okay. Well, I guess. Do we have anything on our docket to hit? Like, uh, well, there's there. If you're still looking to take out, uh, as it has been so so adeptly named the the flight club, uh, uh, you know, there are still three three of their heavies at large. Ah, uh, did we actually end up like offing Brad Spit, or is he still over there? No, no. Brad Spitt, George Clawney, and uh, Brendan Feathers all, all survived. The The rest of their mooks were taken out. Okay. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit miffed about that and just a little bit like my pride has been wounded and maybe messing with them feels like a good idea today. We could absolutely do that. Um, like, this, this bird has become my unhealthy obsession. <laughs> hmm. I mean, the heart wants what it wants, right? And in this case, it's his blood. This is absolutely valid. I mean, what is a heart if not a giant pump for blood? Oh, that's true. (laughs) I'll overanalyze that later. For now, let's make a plan. All right. So you guys can kind of begin putting your heads together. Arnold, what is your plan? Or should I say, Charlie? Well, um, first thing I'm going to do is call in a favor. Okay. All right. What, what is the favor calling it in from? Okay, so um, I'm going to... I can technically call into this because uh, P owes me one. <laughs> but, okay. Um, but uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to try to call in the favor of like um, probably some frogs in the exhibits and whatnot. So like uh, when I when I'm out on this date, they can start singing and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm, uh, all right. then I'm so gonna have he like call, fly by with some flowers and what like, drop them on us with your with with this ability call on a favor. Is that normally where you get uh, like questions you can ask? Like you get a hold. Uh, who owes you can call in you can call on someone who owes you a favor or information and yes uh that's exactly the way okay so so what we'll do with this particular role instead of 
uh, instead of getting to be able to ask questions with this, since you have a setup, whether you get a hold one or a hold two, I'm going to change that to uh, for the scene of your date. That would just that's just going to be a a plus one or a plus two for any of your magnetism bonus. Okay. Okay. So I'll hold that in. Wow. Okay, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I rolled triple fours. Triple fours. I'm trying to find out what I did with my paperwork. So uh, triples. Uh and, and what was your total? Uh eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So number one, you're gonna gain a marker back. Um need those. But also going to get uh, a success and a plus one forward on your next roll. Yep. All right, so All what right. is your, you know, so who you, you called this in for, from Ricky. Uh, you know, so you've got, you've got some things in motion. Oh, he's like, all right, I'm, uh, you know, it'll take some time to, to get this all set up. So he he asks, you know, what kind of kind of plans you have set up, what's your route, you know, what have you. So you begin conversing with him to get all of your, shall we say, ducks in a row. <laughs> so uh Tully, what is uh what is your plan? Okay. So uh I rolled my um let's see. Uh, my license is to drive uh, the start of the job to see what I can get my hands on. So I know I told the ladies it's going to take them for a drive, but mm -hmm. I'm going to pull a switch and bait. I actually got a hot air balloon and I'm going nice. to take them on a picnic on a hot air balloon. I know the birds, I know they can fly, but that requires them flapping their wings and working all the time. They can't just kick back and enjoy, you know, the view and, and relax. So we're going to slow down and we're going to relax. All right. Uh, I, I like that presentation. I think that's uh, kind of amusing. You There was a little bit of a, a promise of speed, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see what, what winds up coming of that, uh, if anything. So uh, I'm going to roll this and see where things start. Now, I'm, I'm asking Frenzy, Roscoe, are you guys collectively working together to, uh, you know, do whatever madness you're doing with the flight with the uh, flight club? Um, sure. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I yeah. think we would. Like, we're gonna be like the anti buddy cops. Like, yeah. we're the buddy misdemeanors, <laughs> the buddy criminals. You know. Sure. All right. So uh, I rolled a one. So I've got the the order. You know, in a swoop here. That's gonna that's gonna push it to Tully. How how does this date set up you know, from a narrative perspective? We did a lot of back and forth on communication. Uh, and we all know that Ted is not the romance DM here. So uh, we're not going to go into intimate level details on on these dates. So we're going to like snapshot and look at, you know, the narration angles of this. So okay. how does it how does it start? What is our setup? All right. So Tully, Tully procures a golf cart, right? Just like he said he was going to. And, mm -hmm. and he co goes to pick them up. And basically, like, you know, three of them can kind of fit. Maybe four of them can fit inside, but there's fifth. Someone's got to sit on the, either on the trunk or on the roof. Um, and then I'm going to drive them. Uh, like, we're going we're gonna to start like we're going for the drive. Well, ladies, um, I promised you a, a drive. Maybe it's something about going fast. But I want to slow things down first before we go fast. And how about a luxurious hot air balloon ride and picnic? I've even procured some champagne for uh, for for our for us while we relax. You know, I I know you're thinking we're birds. We can just fly wherever we want. You gotta flap your wings. You gotta do all that extra work. This time, you're gonna kick kick back, relax, and let Tully. 
this Beasler McGee do all the work for you ladies while enjoying champagne and strawberries. All right, so you know what? You're you're a bit of a planner. Um, so you can either make a magnetism roll or sell me on another stat if you've got something that you feel best fits uh, all of this uh, being arrayed, uh, lined up. All right. Um, I'll go with magnetism. That's fine. Okay. It's not terrible. If <laughs> it's not. If you're going to go magnetism, can I spend a marker to edit a scene? Uh, Are you trying to edit the scene for him or against him? Yes, for him. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You you absolutely can can edit edit a scene uh, for your your party, your mob, if you will. Okay, so um, hearing that he had a date, I'm basically giving him, like, the best tips that's helped me throughout my entire career um, to grease the wheels of persuasion and whatnot, you know? All right. So like technically if you, if you wanted to not spend a marker here, I would allow you to break it up and you could roll start spitting to give him a, a plus on his check. Oh, sure. I mean, um, I just, I, I just wasn't sure since you already called for a roll, on um you were calling sure but i mean you know there's there's times that you can call for a role and have more than one person involved on the check then uh but like don't want to roll the dice if you just you know you don't want to gamble i'll i'll allow that and you know because you're using a limited resource i can i'll actually go so far as to give him a plus two on the roll unless there was something specific that you wanted to add no, I, I'm fairly confident um, I, I I can make this roll, you know? Okay. Like, I already have a plus four going into this, so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. With right. the double ones. Double, double ones. Double ones. Neutral boss showing. Double ones with the neutral boss. Um... So that's going to be a success. Everyone gets a plus one forward. So uh, helping out the party. Um, so that'll give Dave a plus one on this particular roll and then a plus one on his next. What is the results there, Tully? All right. All right. That's seven, eight. It's a nine. All right. So things are things are starting off good um there's some uh there's some noise going off on you know uh the other part of the zoo as uh as you guys are getting into the hot air balloon and like even though you've got all of this set up and everyone seems to be in a in a uh, a good good mood you know the 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 flamingos keep like looking back it's like what's going on over there there what's going on over there um so you've got their attention but you don't have their full attention ladies ladies once we get in the air we'll give a bird's eye view pun not intended and we'll see exactly what's going on over there so as we slide down to arnold i i.e I. charlie uh how is your setup? What is what does your date start off like? So um, you know, I first what I'm doing is like I'll, I'll bring a sample of um some of the moonshine we procure, you know what I mean? Okay. Like just because I as as I am trying to like uh make moves on her. Again, the end goal is to persuade her to come to auto side. So I just want to mm-hmm. show her what we procured, what what kind of stuff we have, so we can enjoy and give a sample and just show her, hey, this side's pretty good, you know. So you do understand, you know, with the guys of trying to get them to join or getting her to join Otto while chasing somebody that you're in disguise of that works for Carlo Hambino. 
just making sure you you have all, all of your ducks in a row. Yeah. But gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh you know, just uh that wrong. And you know, I'll do the whole frog singing for us and whatnot. And um, all right, so is is it a is it a casual stroll? Are you going to like a particular location? Like what yeah. is what is the setup? So what's happening is um, you know, as soon as I hit the savannah, we'll go on a quick stroll to the watering hole so we can wet our okay. whistles. Okay. Uh so let's uh let's see how this uh how this starts. See if see if you can keep Jenny uh you know fully engrossed in, in your conversation. Give me a start spitting roll. Well, you know how these rolls work for me, Ted. Uh I roll really <laughs> great in the beginning and start rolling like trash when it matters. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gonna be nine. Oh, um, do I get that plus one or no? Yeah, everyone. Okay, then that was a ten total. Okay, um, so you you have got her attention, uh, but I do need you to make a uh, put your peepers to work. Yep, got it. This is gonna be a straight. Got a plus zero, four, eight, with double fours. Is that an eight with double fours? Yes. No right. boss issue. Uh, so no, with no boss, that's going to be a success with consequence. Uh, so you're going to get at a minus one forward, but you're going to you can give a plus one forward to, to an ally of your choice. I'll give it a frenzy. So we get it again. You know, slide over frenzy, Roscoe, as your you know companions uh, decide to get all gussied up and begin moving off into their own directions. How does the, the evening find you? Oh. Looks like Roscoe's giving it to you, Kenzie. Okay. So the evening finds me suiting up, right? Like, I'm going to have to look all nice and pretty flapper on the outside. It is what's expected of me. I have a reputation to uphold, but also I'm packing one hands. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm uh, just like putting on the underneath, like just like the undershirt with the hidden pockets and the throwing knives and the like the gun in the interior pocket of the skirt. And like, you know, um, I don't know what a gator looks like in heels, but I imagine she'd be wearing high heels for this because you know what? It's not a sane thing to do, but no one ever said Kinsey was a sane person, gator. Um so, Roscoe, where am I meeting you? Um, so, uh, Roscoe is uh, feeling substantially underdressed because um, he's just wearing what he always wears, which is um, an all-red three-piece suit sans the jacket. And um, he uh, shows up, looks at Frenzy, and he's like, oh, you came to slay in every sense, I suppose. <laughs> well, yes. See, I'm thinking we're going to get there. And they're probably going to be kind of smug because they made us retreat. So if... I don't know. I just kind of want to look good and make him feel as bad as he made me feel getting my butt kicked by somebody as stupidly handsome as that. I'm mad about it. You know, that and is... And I'm about to make it someone else's problem. That is absolutely fair. So um, we are currently at the reptile house. Yes. Um, are we going to hit them at home or hit them at one of Owl Capone's bases, do you think? Hmm. Well, I will I will ask this question. I know there was this talk of, you know, trying to isolate and bring down, uh, or are the two of you looking to try and gun down the three of them by yourself. Oh, if we could just jump one of them, that would be wonderful. Um, so, yeah. Can we I, I don't know what I'm looking to do and like 
if you can do a you know a stealth observation mission and wait until one of them you know could be alone that's entirely a a, a potential plan i Just like that how- idea and at the very least if we don't find an opportune moment to jump them we'll have an idea of what their schedules look like so that when we have the whole group we can figure out like when the best time to divide and conquer is mm-hmm. okay Hear me um, out. We are being sneaky. Hear me out. Trail of birds. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try that at some point tonight. And if it doesn't work, that's fine. But it's too hilarious to pass up. <laughs> All right. So what I'm what I'm going to have you do here uh, uh, is, you know, each of you can decide how, how you're taking part in the start of this mission. Uh, one of you is going to roll sly, you know, commit a caper, trying to see how stealthy collectively you guys are. And one of you is going to be the observation. So one of you is going to put your peepers to work. You guys tell me who's doing what. Hmm. Well, I have a zero for awareness and a two for sly. Okay. Well, then. Uh, I have. <laughs> yeah, my sly is not good. My awareness is marginally better. Okay. All right. So, so, it's, so it I'll sounds like you guys are, are evened out, and you do have a plus one forward from Arnold. So both you both do. So you both can add an additional one. So uh, who's uh, so let's let's do the sly first. Uh, who you know, Roscoe, give me a commit a caper. Okay, rolling those good Zoo Mafia dice. Hey. Boop, boop. Uh, this one's cocked. There we go. Oh, I got two bosses showing. I have. Oh my! I have the ally and the neutral boss showing, and that means it's twelve plus one, uh, plus thirteen two. plus my plus two, fifteen. So, so you you yeah. mixed, you know the this uh so you are basically as stealthy as is possible. Uh, throughout all of this. Uh, uh, so with the ally boss, that's going to be success and you get a marker. Uh, and uh, with the neutral boss, everyone gets a plus one forward. So this is going hey. to p- pass along to, to to the party as, uh, you know, the dice uh, modifiers just keep stacking up. So Frenzy, you've got a plus one forward from Arnold. you got a plus one forward from Roscoe. Awesome. You know, so uh, go ahead and put your peepers to work. Good, good, good. So that's going to be a nine total, but the enemy boss is showing. All right, any doubles? No. All right, so if there's no doubles, the enemy boss doesn't doesn't mean doesn't mean. Oh, anything. okay. Well, cool. Like I, I'm All just right, like so we're playing ma- on hard mode. I don't know if that's different. <laughs> I'll get right. this eventually, so, and then I'll have it. I promise. Yeah, no, no, no worries. So that's nine after your your stat and the plus two from your allies. Yes. Okay. All right. So that is going to be a success with consequences. Um. So. Uh, what what you're looking at here? Uh, are you? gunning for any particular one of the three or are you just looking to see whether you can isolate one of them yeah i want to punch brad spit in his stupid face again <laughs> okay um so the uh in here. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Damn hyenas again. Whatever that is. <laughs> I see police lights outside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about 80% sure they aren't here for me. Carry on. I hear baby and see, <laughs> and see police lights. <laughs> yeah, they're there for frenzy, you know? <laughs> and it's okay. I love babies. They're tasty. Alright, so... <laughs> He's kidding. Um, So as Roscoe and Frenzy, as you head out, you know, very carefully, very stealthily into Owl Capone's territory, um, you know, you can still see a lot of damage in regards to 
the fire that was mysteriously laid at the you know flight club uh gathering uh and sure enough there's no nothing going on up there as uh um <laughs> sorry this distractions so as you begin making your way around you're observing and you see all these things going on um you know your your consequence is you have a you have a decision to make you can see that uh the the flight club is kind of separated as a handful of avians are kind of like fleeing and moving uh at, you know out of out of the 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 aviary if you will um but you see a a somewhat large force moving in the direction, maybe not the same place that you guys are going. Um, you can't quite tell who it is, but they are moving pretty quickly and pretty stealthily on foot. So your consequence is going to be you have a choice. You guys are unobserved because Roscoe rolled incredibly well and you do see your target alone but there's something else happening what is what is the choice that you make do you continue on with your mission or do you see what what the bigger happening is brad spit is not so important that i don't want to know what's going on in the zoo right now i will throw one rock at him and then i'll go <laughs> what do i roll to throw a rock ah uh, so you know what I and mean, this is a projectile weapon. Uh, so I, I feel this has still got to be bring the heat, even if it's not a grenade, a gun, dynamite, or moth elf cocktail. That's okay. I can deal without the extra damage. I just want to annoy him and kind of ruin his day. Sure. Ten. Hold on, let me find out what... I don't get a bonus to that. Okay, that's fine. Ten. I will deal with All ten. Alright, so... So, uh... You know, you hit him in the eye as he's, as he's fleeing in the night. Uh, but then you continue on your mission and he's like, he's looking around. Um, you know, but he, he continues on because, you know, as you were well uh well aware uh you know he was pretty tough so like he kind of glances it off no that's fine he can do that i'll fight him later sure 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 i so I slink off smugly sure sure so roscoe frenzy uh you you wish to abandon your mission and head deeper into al capone's territory yeah let's and find see out what's happening what what all of this is as long as you're um, okay with that roscoe yeah let's go for it <clears throat> all right so you begin heading deeper in and you now again you know, a lot of a lot of things moving on foot very quietly we pause and we shift back to the the hot air balloon looking looking down upon the zoo occasional lights and music can be you know, seen, you know, creeping up through the uh, the night air. You guys see a lot of things moving in the zoo. And you know, at first it's the, the normal hustle and bustle of the zoo as people go about or animals go about their evening affairs. Um, but clearly something is happening some some bigger plan is a foot a feather a, a claw i don't know what the what would the appropriate animal phrase would be here uh so tully this is clearly drawn some of the attention of your shall we call them dates uh what are you doing to either join in the observation or distract them from their looky loos as you will oh I actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drift over in that direction and uh, and help them. And you know, I've got all these uh, eagle-eyed ladies with me. I might as well see what they spot. All right. Uh, so as they're looking down, uh, 
from the, the, the legitimate bird's eye view, uh, you can see that uh, the, the canines are, are on the prowl. And there was the, the distraction that, that first caused them to be looking out as you began your ascent wound up turning into silence for a little while and you got back into conversation about whatever it is that you guys wish to talk about and they, whatever they turtles and about. flamingos talk about when they're alone <laughs> <laughs> you know the, they they inquire about you know driving and how you got into uh you know learning to actually use what most would consider you know people vehicles and you know you well aware of who they are, you know, maybe you ask them questions, uh, you know, about their, um, their marksmanship as you will. Uh, but as you're floating over the zoo and seeing the different, uh, enclosures and the different animals, uh, it is clear that these canines are moving, uh, deeper and deeper into the owl territory. And, uh, you know, something is amiss. And at first, the uh, the flamingos, the pink ladies, as you will, uh, they definitely have their feathers ruffled. So do you have any questions you want to uh, ask them at this point in time? Hey, uh, ladies, your eyes are so much better than mine. What do you see going on down there? So, you know, they, they describe and... Uh, Let's see here. Uh, we'll say uh, Rhonda and and Rizzo wind up, uh, you know, uh, showing a little bit of worry in their voice as uh, you know the police animals are, you know, moving into you know the the primary Avery and oh well, as you know things would have it, the pink ladies are not there to assist uh, a particular owl. Should uh, there be the need of it, how uh, problematic that could be? Well, that sounds quite quite vexing. But perhaps there is an opportunity. And Tolly reaches into his shell and pulls out a Molotov cocktail. Oh my God, <laughs> ladies, we can help from up here. It's dark; they'll never see the balloon. They're just going to see a streak of fire falling down, and whoosh. That'll help warn your boss. Oh my gosh, you brought Maltel cocktails on your date. You mean you don't? You are. <laughs> that was that was Ted laughing, not uh, not, not that, the, that the was, pink ladies. That was totally end Dave answering. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting hot. So, one, one way or another, ladies, if you go out on a date with me, that's for sure. All right, so <laughs> go ahead and you know roll your, your roll your, bring the heat uh, and, oh, and see think, what this does. I think I'm holding on to a couple a couple of forwards here too. Uh yeah yeah you do. <laughs> I'm just gonna convert them to damage now, though. Okay. All right all right all right that could have could have been better. Um that's uh I believe that is a nine. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, oh shit! Poor, the basket's on fire. That's gonna light us up. So the uh, the the basket is uh, you know starting to catch fire. Uh, that is a nice transition point as we move <laughs> over to uh, Arnold, shall we call him Charlie, and one J Jangles. As you're, you know, strolling about the zoo with, you know, the 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 frogs singing, the ducks singing, um, you know, whatever other, you so, know. Sorry, Ted, if I weighed in with my own complication. <laughs> no, I have no problems with, you know, players putting an option in for the the complication. Definitely makes things a lot easier. Um, and uh, you know, you having more experience at this than I, I will always take it. Uh, so as 
your your date is going quite well. Uh, you know, you have this ebb and flow of conversation. Uh, you, know, you know that there's already an interest before your you know fake courting, uh, and then is you you know kind of pass within proximity of the aviary. You hear the the slightest little bit of noise, and then a bright flash of light as a Maltel cocktail explodes. You begin to hear canines, you know, howl and scream, uh, you know, and you know you begin to to hear you know barking orders. And uh, go ahead, put your peepers to work. Let's see if uh, you can gather some information here. Absolutely, let's do that. I'm rolling too good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have to. Are these dice loaded? <laughs> like, what's happening here? Um. Okay, so I have a zero for awareness, but I rolled a ten with two fives, and I have a third five on the. You rolled red another dice. triple. Another wow. freaking right. triple. All right, so uh, again, and again, you're gonna restore a marker. Um, I almost feel bad. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> hey, we we just have to deal with what the dice is, and you know, maybe the next session, I'm just gonna have to make, make it harder. So you spend more markers, um, but then it's gonna be a success, and you get a uh, you get a plus one forward on your next roll. Right. This is... So, uh, you hear this, you know, uh, barking voice of this uh, very well known bloodhound within the zoo. And, you know, you, you hear him like, you know, oh, you know, assailants above, you know, you know, and begins coordinating, you know, putting out the fire, getting, getting one unit go, going in yeah. after, uh, you know, target one, uh, you know, you, unit two flank to the left. Uh, you know, it sounds like there's a lot going on, even though, you know, there are, there are uh, officers clearly in pain as to whatever caused this fire. Uh, but then when you look above where, you know, the fire, you know, possibly came from, you see that there is a, a lit up air balloon on fire. Yeah. Um, by any chance, do I recognize this air balloon? <laughs> the, uh, like this in there's the only fire. one hot air balloon in the zoo. And you know full well the plan was that, you know, Tully was taking the the pink ladies out on an air balloon ride so unless somebody absconded it before he did he's up there with the the thing on fire oh no tully what have you done <laughs> As i see this happening so what uh, what do you do in this moment so um just to get context uh again so um jenny works for the um... Jenny works for Al Capone. Charlie, okay. tending to be, works for uh, Carlo Hambino, and you're trying to get Jenny to work for Machine Gun Auto. Yes. And as if it has not been obvious, there is a raid by law enforcement on Al Capone. Yeah. Let's just run away, Jenny. We don't need Al Capone in here anymore. You know, I mean, it looks like they're doing the job for us. Don't get involved. Let's not get hurt. All right, give me a give me a magnetism roll. Let's see if uh, you're able to persuade her. Oh boy, it's probably going to be a high as hell. <laughs> okay, so. That's going to be seven total. All right. So six, 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 your, your, your main, you know, thing here is you're trying to convince her to run away that we don't need Owl Capone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to give you a choice. You know, you're able to persuade her to to flee and you know that she should should leave Al Capone and that was 
objectively what your mission was. But you're also trying to get her to go to Otto. Yeah. So she can either see through your disguise in this moment and recognize you're not Charlie. Or you can get her to leave Al Capone, but she's not going to go to Otto. I can definitely live with the latter. Um, But also when she's not looking, can like part of my disguise fall off? All right. So you want, you want to go the, uh, uh, do you want both as consequences? Like I'm giving I think you the... it'd be funny. I think it'd be funny. <laughs> like, uh, when, when you know, when 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 uh when uh she's not looking, I I do convince her to go away from the situation. But like, when she's not looking, you know, like maybe part of my disguise falls off, and it's like, oh. and I'm just like, I don't know, hiding it. <laughs> All right, so she she heads off into the night, and you know her her future is undecided at this moment as. <laughs> Frenzy, Roscoe. Uh you know, you you begin to see these uh law enforcement canines, you know, mo- moving in uh you know the the sharp marking voice of one Elliot knows, you know, clearly leading the pack. And then boom, this Maltov cocktail explodes, highlighting just how many of you know, law enforcement has made a showing here. You see a couple uh, burned officers down, clearly no longer moving. A couple more outside, you know, the initial blast radius, uh, you know, clearly rolling around in pain, you know, trying to put out fires. A couple of trees, a couple of, you know, fences are now alight with flames. You know, you can easily see the, the fire burning that's floating above, which based off of the information you have, could be none other than, you know, Tully and the Pink Ladies. What do the two of you do in this moment? Well. Apparently, we weren't the only ones that had the idea to go and... um, I'm sorry, I'm going to let Roscoe talk for a minute. (laughs) Oh... I mean, I don't know why. I don't have much to say. If you have something to say, go for it. <laughs> uh, no, the right, reason what, why what is if... because I have a screaming baby in the background, and I just, okay, he's got yogurt now. Never mind. All right. So, um, <laughs> clearly, yeah, but... our friends had the same idea we did. Decided to come and check this out, and then decided to intervene. And we can't just leave our friend in trouble, right? Um, of course we can't. Hmm. Um, so, what do we do? Do we just follow it and try and pull him out of the hopefully water when it lands? Uh, yes, that seems like a good idea. Uh, however, it just occurred to me. The fuzz is raiding Al Capone. Wouldn't it be an absolute travesty if perchance our targets were unable to leave their enclosures or get back into them? Ah. Thus implicating them in whatever their nefarious activities might be. Okay, what do you have in mind? I have in mind that perhaps uh, if we could quickly find where one or two of them calls home, we could just lock the door. And if they're in there, they're stuck in there. And if they're not, now they're stuck outside. Oh. That's very smart. I agree. Let's do that. And then we can rescue Tully if he needs rescuing. I mean, that turtle does love him some fire. He does. He probably did it on purpose. He may have done it as a part of some sort of strange circus act to further appeal to the flamingos. I don't think he understands that flamingos don't actually like flames. (laughs) Like it's not maybe fl- that's something. Oh, it's flamingo. That, that is now ca- that is now canon. Yeah. 
that that's why he loves flamingos because because of the flame and the flamingo. <laughs> That, oh. That's gonna have to be a you know, thing. The flamingos. <laughs> uh. So yeah. Um. I don't know. Can we find where one of or more of the enclosures of our big bird targets are that we could just lock them in or out? Sure. Um. I. You know. We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it nice and easy. We'll uh, give you the choice of a. Uh, or you know, give. The the choice between the two of you, uh, it's going to be Roscoe because you've got the better slide. But uh, you know, let's uh, let's commit a caper. Okay. Um. And what is Frenzy doing for that? Like, is is it we're both doing it together, or is it that just? Yeah, I would imagine we're going to do it together. So if uh, Frenzy, if you want to break it up, uh, you know, you could yeah. you could roll roll uh roll Sly and see if uh you can give a. A, a, a plus one to Roscoe. Six. Mm. <clears throat> so that's that's going to be a no. Um, yeah, I didn't so, think so. Yeah, Roscoe, you see that uh, you know Frenzy is trying, but uh, not very successful. She said, "Like, yeah, let me let me do it." Uh, but that is going to be an XP for you. I, I think it's the heels. The heels are the problem. I know. I just had to look like. Never mind, go on. You do look stunning while you're failing. <laughs> um, okay. Um, GM, do yes. I look stunning while I'm failing? <laughs> That's a seven. <laughs> seven is not a failure. Oh, it's not. That's a success with consequence. Oh, okay, I'll take it. You said seven, right? Yeah, seven after my modifier. Uh, so uh, the the consequence is uh, uh, you're you're going to be spotted by law enforcement. Uh, you know you're you're clearly messing with the lock of uh, somebody's cage as uh, you know somebody on the inside is trying to trying to get out. Um, mm -hmm. but you're at the scene of a raid. Okay. So do you flee at this moment or do you decide to, you know, step aside and when the officer decides to question you, be there for questioning? Uh, think, well, you go ahead, Frenzy. I was just going to say, I think that if we try to go, we can probably get away is the implication here but they're not going to believe anything they find if we don't stay to give it context. So how married are we to this plan? Because if we stay, we're not going to be able to help our friend. Um, okay, I have a crazy idea. All right. Scratch me. With your claws. I, pardon? Like on the arm or something. I do it. <laughs> okay. I will pull out my uh, rope mm -hmm. and I will kind of like drape it a little bit over my arm to make it look like I've just escaped from this boat. Okay. So I'm going right, to try now... to let Frenzy get away yeah. and I'm going to spin it like okay. I have been kidnapped by them. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna have to say that you know you took damage from frenzy scratch. But <laughs> yeah, if you, want, if you want to make this believable, it needs to look you know legit. So mm -hmm. it needs to be an action. And unfortunately, uh, scratching you is too damage from me. That's okay. It's all the better. <clears throat> More believable that way. Uh, so then frenzy, you know, heads off into the night. Um, you know, since we got to do it, we got to do it. Let's uh, let's commit a caper. You know, trying to be stealthy. All up, frenzy. Okay. All right. So I have doubles. Double fives is going to be a ten. Right. Um, I but it's going to be a nine because I have negative one to. <laughs> All right. So, so success with with consequence. Uh, 
you know, for whatever reason, the sheer amount of fuzz in the, that are active, you're 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 pretty sure there's not this that there was not this amount of uh you know cops in the zoo prior to this evening. So whether they brought in some extra muscle or whatever have you, you're not sure. Uh, but once Roscoe said, all right, you know, beat feet, you took off. And, you know, the the animal instinct, you know, gave way to panic and you fled and you weren't really watching where you were properly going. You tripped, you fell, you rolled, uh, you managed to get away, but, you know, you, you took some damage in the process. You're, you're, you're pretty safe. So, so take two okay. and you're... You're able to get to wherever you want to get to. You don't think that you were followed. You don't think that anyone really observed what you were doing. All right. Uh, Roscoe, Roscoe decides to, you know, stay for questioning and, and what have. So now we, we go up to Tully. The balloon is on fire. Chaos is breaking out down below you. The girls are starting to panic. They've they've pulled out, you know, their own weaponry. Uh, they haven't begun firing down at the cops below because, well, they're sitting flamingos up here. Uh, they would be ripe targets should, you know, gunfire decide to come back up. But Chi Chi, the, the leader of the Flamingos, has certainly given you the eye of like trying to figure out whether you knew anything about all of this was going on, whether you were trying to, uh, uh, you know, set them up, whether the thing on fire was an accident or a plan. What are you doing to either defuse the situation or to put the fire out? So uh, he squares himself uh, to Chi Chi directly and gives her mm-hmm. his 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 most uh, devilish sly grin, turtle grin, <laughs> and, and then he, he reaches out with two two of his little turtle paws, claws, hands, whatever you want to call them, uh, Chi Chi. Ladies, don't worry. I got a plan. And he like kind of uh, rests his hands on either side of uh, her beak and looks her right in the eyes. Trust okay. me, this is going to work. Here's what we need to do. Don't fire. Don't shoot. Because that'll give away our position. But I'm going to help you and your boss out. And clearly, like, he's not supposed to be doing this. But flamingos um so uh so here's what we're going to do i'm going to start letting out the gas from the balloon the balloon will descend but not all of the gas is going to leave the balloon once the balloon begins to collapse collapse in on the basket the flames will ignite the highly flammable explosive hydrogen that is in the balloon and then that will clear out all those flat paws. And it should give your boss plenty of time to clear out. And also, it will cause some problems for the for the for for Elliot Nose and his cronies. Um But how are you going to survive a, a, an explosion? Well, I can't fly, so I'm hoping some of you ladies will help me out. Um but you guys will be fine either way. Um, so you know that the, the flamingos are, you know, mostly leg and no, oh, not yeah, very big. I do. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, so they, they will straight up tell you that, you know, they really don't have the ability to carry, you know, weight. I know. Like Individually, that. you don't. We just take one of these ropes here. And you all hold on to it, and I hold on to the rope. There's five of you. It should be okay. Tully's done the math. This is the plan he's, he's, he's This is the plan he's going with. Right. 
All right. So this is utterly bonkers. I'm going to I'm going to give you all of this in one roll. Okay. Uh, to see how well you can get out of a jam. Yes. Give me give me my... All right. Well, it's not terrible. That's actually that's a 10. Oh, that's a, right. yeah, that's a 10. All right. So you managed to convince them to take flight collectively holding a rope that you've either secured to yourself or you're going to hold on to and like kind of float slash glide down out of the area after you begin to uh, let the air out of the, the balloon to cause an explosion down below. Those in watch you really don't see, you know, the six figures, you know, float away from the, the glowing light source. If, you know, those with keen eyes might have uh, caught a glimpse of it. But the huge explosion that kind of lights up the night, destroying more trees, more officers, uh, more fences, a couple enclosures uh, is too hard to miss. As more and more people, uh, animals, kind of go running, you hear some quick screams that quickly die out as, uh, you know, the flames cover all of the uh, the nonsense. Arnold, you're left alone with a disguise falling off. What do you do? as you bear witness to this massive explosion uh, that happens outside and kind of forces its way into some of the aviary at this moment. So first thing is the rest, as the explosion goes off, the rest of his disguise falls off with it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so like literally, the door. boom, then whoosh, I'm a hippo again. <laughs> I'm absolutely just imagining the giant like giraffe head that you had on top of your head just blow like snapped in half. Like paper mache <laughs> or like a hood just falling back. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. And um and after that, like it's like, okay, well, now he's absolutely at a loss of what to do. Um how close up was I to explosion to be was I oh you were you, like you were a ways away from it like unless unless you chose to go closer to where law enforcement was obviously doing a raid you know after you sent Jenny away like are you are you staying to observe are you heading off what is well, what is Arnold for a little he stayed for a little while to like lick his wounds of like damn I really failed right here and that's when, mm -hmm. you know, he's still in Savannah as the explosion goes off. And um, I guess I'm going to try to see, am I close enough to see, you know what? I do have an ability called, you know, people. Mm -hmm. Can I take, can I use his ability to, um, I guess, try to think of what Tolly would think of while in that predicament to know what he knows. <laughs> to Are you trying to die? No, no, no what I, Tolly I'm just... would do? <laughs> no, I'm just trying I, I, I to want, see I, if I, I know what it is you're doing. I, I want to understand your rationale. You want to know where Tully would be going to? Yes. Based off of... Uh, I mean, you can get Tully. And and see whether or not you can uh, gauge how how Tully would would think this problem out. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I was just trying to figure out. So. All right, so roll roll your know you know people. I'm hoping I know. We've been on several jobs. It's crazy <laughs> as hell. 
I don't think I know. Slowly as we as this uh, evolves or devolves, as the case may be, I, I think I think, <laughs> I, think Tully, I think devolve definitely definitely fits for this their campaign. I think Tully's actually just a psychopath. Yeah. So it's an eight total with a double threes. All right. So double threes uh, with, with an eight. Uh, um, you know, it's success with consequence. So you're going to get a minus one forward, and you can give a plus one forward. Um, I'm going to give it to Tolly. I feel like he needs it. <laughs> so, so you know that based on tra- trajectory and layout of the zoo, um, you know, you're you're kind of, you know, up up the creek right now. You know, if he goes kind of straight down, you know, he's heading towards where all the kerfuffle with you know the fuzz is uh if he kind of glides off this way you know is headed you know into uh, savannah territory which would certainly be bad because you've got otto and capone's men hanging out in uh hambino's territory that would certainly not be good um uh, you know or equally bad slides down on the other angle be heading into the pride where the lions are and you know they don't really work for anybody but you know they uh you know they do their own thing he just fits creeks no matter where he paddles so yeah so so you've got you've got three options that are bad do you think that you know he obviously wouldn't go straight down not with that kind of weight so do you think he would try to convince them to go towards the lions or do you think you try to convince them to go towards, uh, you know, the savannas? If I know this crazy man, he would actually gamble with the lions. So, uh, given that predilection, there, uh, Tully, where would you where would you guide the flamingos? <clears throat> well, part of me just wants to be contrary, uh, but the other part <laughs> would be like. You just drop me over there by the lions. It'll be fine. So I, I'd say drop me off with the lions. All right. You know, so they they guide you far enough away from the scene. And uh, you know, as you kind of drop drop down you know, within a within a minute or two, there's a there's a couple lions that <coughs> in making their way over to this uh you know, potentially turtle soup, and uh, you know, Arnold, uh, Arnold, you you show up, you know, just about the same time. So as I touch down, I kind of like wave up, "Hey, ladies, what do you think we should do for a second date?" Uh, <laughs> put your peepers to work. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, that's a 15 with double bosses, ally, <laughs> and, and neutral boss. All right. Uh, uh, we are, we are hot on fire tonight with, uh, giving back markers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, seriously hurt you guys next week. Um, mm, so, I really, you know, I could you... really not, don't look at me with the markers. I spend them like they're going out of style. <laughs> that's the fourth one that's the fourth for tonight yeah but the people that, the people that get them back tend to be the people that don't spend them <laughs> uh and that's gonna be uh you know also everyone gets a plus one forward oh thank god oh. thank you that can so my as you creative. as you as you look up uh i'm gonna say that you know when the 15 you see all of the the, the pink ladies but you focus on chi chi and as much as a flamingo can really smile, uh, you know, the antics of the evening have certainly impressed her. So you uh, you know that you notice that, and whether it was a uh, a snide comment to actually say, you know, looking for a second date, or whether you honestly thought that you had done well, you clearly did. So totally always thinks he does well with the lady flamingos. <laughs> Tunnel vision. Or should I say, uh, totally vision. Nice. 
Uh, so as Arnold with some painted, uh, painted uh, giraffe spots, you know, on his arms and legs, you know, shows up, uh, you got some, you know, some lions kind of, you know, looking at you like, well, what are you doing here? Hey, Arnold. How'd your date go? <laughs> uh, first of all, Dave, thank you for doing that. <laughs> um, He's, he does it every, every single session. <laughs> and we love it every single time. Uh, um, now, the Lions haven't actually said anything. They just looked at us like, what are you doing here? No, no, they've said, like, what are you doing here? I'm just passing yeah, through. Uh, the, are, the, the two... Are the the li- two male lions... Go ahead, ask your question. All right. Are the Lions part of any of the organizations? Are they civilians? The, uh, they do their own thing. Um, you know, they don't work for anybody... Uh, but like they have been at the zoo for a long time and while they're old they remember the way things used to be when uh you know mafias were the family like genetically not you know the way they are now oh they're a bunch of old bigots i got (laughs) you yes uh so you know Leo and Lance have been around the zoo for a while. And at one point in time, Leo kind of ran things. And the rumors are that... Typical old angry white guys. I get you. I get it. (laughs) Rumor has it that, like, you know, they get, uh, like, you know, payments or they're looked after for what they used to have or what they used to do just to not have them come back. But um, nobody's tested that in, in a while. Is, is, is that, is there a rumor as to who is paying them? The, the rumor is, is like, you know, all of the, all of the big wigs, you know, kind of, kind of tithe. They, they don't, you know, the lions by, by rumor, don't have any power they don't make any say they don't make any judgments but a they live it up in luxury um without actually having to do anything just based off of you know the their former prestige uh, hey fellas you smell what's cooking in the air tonight is it turtle soup no, that's flat paw you smell. You uh you cooking up some fuzz? A little bit. I don't want no trouble with you fellas. But you know, I'm just getting warmed up here. And besides, uh he's not feeling too good. You don't want to eat that. You guys have a more, you know, finer palate. And to eat uh, sick turtle soup. Besides, a I'm a tortoise. A little you bit larger. I'm a tortoise. You don't make turtle soup from a tortoise. Everybody knows that. It's all that marinated in the water that makes. I literally just tender. nudge Tolly as he's speaking, like as he's talking, like no, like. <laughs> Look, you can tell me what what's the the cause of the drop in, unless of course you're offering some kind of you know tithe or present. Uh, how many lines are there? Two. Look, you guys, you had your day. You you're big shots back then. That day is over and gone. There's. There's new families already moved in. And if you know what's good for you, you get it out of the way. And I will definitely pull out another mocktail cocktail on a zippo. And I'm trying to so I'm trying to intimidate them. Uh, we'll go ahead and start spitting then. See how this goes. Oh. 
Well, 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 the son of a monkey's uncle. It's not low enough. Um, it's not low enough. <laughs> it's not low enough to get XP. I don't think. Um, because I'm at a seven. All right. Uh, so that's success with consequence. Uh, you get, you know, the, the stare. And Leo just stops talking for a moment. You're pretty sure, you know, you see the, uh, you know, the, 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 the claws on his, you know, forepaw, you know, kind of flex just a little bit before he says, we have stepped back. We're out of it. You're the one that has barged into our. We're just checking so, in on seeing how the old guys are doing. That's all. Now we see you guys are doing good, so we'll leave. Thank you. I should appreciate it. We still respect some of the old ways. So, and to as show you know, that respect, you... and to show that respect, I um pull out the bottle of liquor that I didn't get a chance to use. And oh, I mean, you drank them. some of it. Okay, okay. I would say you drank some of it. You know, I mean, like. We were doing snapshots of the evening, like we weren't going yeah, through the whole thing. So, like, there was, you know, an hour of you guys, you know, walking and talking, and an hour of, you know, the 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 turtle and the flamingo, you know, floating around the the zoo. Uh, like I said, I was not interested in doing, you know, full on date scenes again. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, well, so I'll at least pour them a shot. <laughs> sure, and you know. They they appreciate, and you know this is this is Wild Bill the the Beavers you know strong mix so it's got it's got quite a kick and you know Lance uh, you know downs it and you know gives a you know uh, a feline roar that you know you think was appreciation uh, before the two of you skedaddle yeah yeah it's really eventually- like. As we're kind of like walking away and we're like, yeah, after we're like out of their enclosure and uh, out of earshot, you know, those guys really rub me the wrong way. Animals like that, they give us all a bad name. You know, all us animals can get along, you know, as long as we're mm-hmm. not in opposite gangs, there's no reason why we can't all be friends <laughs> and maybe even date sometimes and get married and raise families. I don't like their type. They're closed minded totally. ideas. Totally get it, totally. I totally get it. Uh, but sometimes you gotta play the game just to get by. Uh, I guess, but I was ready to light them up. I was getting rolling. I, rolling, I was getting rolling tonight. I light this whole zoo on fire. I burned it all to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the right time. That wasn't the right time. <laughs> all right. You are our leader, so I'll, I'll defer. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I'm a leader. <laughs> Well, that's what you get for acting like a leader. I'm not the leader. You are, though. We're following you. We haven't been doing good so far under my leadership, you're saying? Look, no one said... Good no, scrub. One, no one claimed you're a good leader. <laughs> you're the leader. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, eventually... You know, Tully, Arnold, and and Kenzie, you know, wind up meeting up. Roscoe, when the explosion happens, uh, when when the the balloon drops, you have a moment of decision. You can continue with your disguise, you know, waiting to talk to this this officer that clearly noticed you uh, and was on their way to boom possible distraction do you beat feet there or do you stick around i'm gonna beat feet (laughs) because i see a balloon coming down that's a big deal right (laughs) sure that's my cue all right so so collectively do we gather at the hideout 
Do we go to somewhere else? Uh, where does the mob collect after the evening's, shall we say, antics? Arnold, maybe? All right. I mean, he's got a safe house. <laughs> you guys know the way. <laughs> the 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 explosion was about an hour ago took you guys time to make sure you're not followed you know, go to whatever lengths you you do to get to your safe house safely but you've you're sitting sitting back you've given the the brief details about what has transpired from each of your own perspectives as to the explosions, you know, what you saw with the officers, um, you know, what was seen in regards to, you know, flight club, you know, Jenny fleeing off on her own saying that she's not going to work for, Al for Al Capone anymore, but has not given any kind of allegiance elsewhere. Um, uh, you know, the pink ladies, they clearly avoided some fiasco where they probably would have been at the heart of Al Capone's territory and would have been definitely involved in, you know, a shootout uh, with a lot of officers had they not been up in a hot air balloon. Well, uh, Frenzy, I have to say I'm very sorry because unless that hot air balloon took out that enclosure, I may have saved the life of one of our foes by locking him in and preventing him from running out into the fireball. No, that's all right. I mean, isn't it more fun if we take care of it ourselves anyway? This is true. Also, then you get your heart that you were after. Speaking of hearts, were any other hearts won tonight, gentlemen? Nah, I don't think she'll be coming around again. But at the very least, I can't say is uh, Miss Jenny Jangles is not with Al Capone anymore. Well, that's certainly good news. You did what we were supposed to do. And then he kind of looks uh, away sheepishly. <laughs> and um, uh, how about you, Tully? You look like uh, you went up in flames of glory. So so Tully work, walks in with a lot of swagger uh, in his step, extra swagger in his step. But it quickly gets deflated when, 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 as he's speaking and, you know, kind of congratulating Arnold. Well, the the day went pretty well. Um, but then the girls were upset because, well, the ladies, the ladies were upset. I hate to see a lady flamingo upset because of all those coppers, all those flap holes, you know, closing in on Al Cabone. I think I probably should have ignored it, but I can be a bit of a show off sometimes. And all the pink ladies were looking at me and expecting me to do something so i had to do something and i think i'm gonna get a second date but they're still definitely working for al capone and i think i might have helped her we're really uh, bad at this aren't we i said some, <laughs> i said some i said some of the the the, the flat poles on fire though that's got to count for something right I mean, you could say that we're very bad at being servants of auto, of Machine Gun Auto, the person we are supposed to be allying ourselves to, or you could alternatively say that we are excellent free agents. <laughs> I mean, you got a point. We do have a bigger goal here, though. Like, we should probably, you know do that more. maybe maybe we can spin it a lot of the damage that was done was in al capone's territory is that correct ted yes 
Yeah, I mean, so... we took out his. We we blew up Flight Club, and uh, we also made sure Jenny's not working for him anymore. So I don't and know when blew up a significant portion of her territory. And I think the pink ladies are going to trust me a lot more now. So we both did an incredible amount of damage and also infiltrated. Yeah, but there's a bigger problem. Oh? How am I going to date five flamingos at the same time? I mean, I they all know about each other, so half the problem is solved already. This is I true. Put my I put my arm Tully, around. Arm. Tully started it. He's gonna start his own only his own uh, flamingo polycule. <laughs> <laughs> I put my arm around Tully and I start talking about everything I know, <laughs> just to help him out any way I can. Either that, or we're just gonna have to start a band called uh, Tully and the and and the Pink Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I do hate to put a damper on this night of incredible victories and romance, but did anyone else notice that there was a significant increase in the amount of fuzz than there have been in the past? Yeah. Well, there's been a significant increase in fires, explosions all over the zoo. Uh, you you yeah, think they're working up to it. something? I'm not sure, but usually the fuzz shores up help just before something big. They raided Al Capone's territory tonight, bear in mind. They went on the aggressive. If they're willing to do that with her, who's to say they won't do it with Otto or Hambino or anyone associated with them? And we haven't exactly kept our fingers clean in any of those regards. You make some good points. Point. Maybe we should talk to Oliver. I think that's wise. Also, um, just a point of clarity. Uh, assuming that the particular officer that did this did not blow up, they definitely saw me and frenzy. I mean, Act. it could be. Any you know Chinese. that they saw you. you. Don't. You don't know for a fact that they saw frenzy. Oh, okay. Well, then he'll just say that they saw him. They could have. It could be any Chinese alligator and and red panda. Unfortunately, red pandas are an endangered species, so there aren't too many of us running around the zoo. Oh, well, that's be terrible more news. Endangered. I mean, your line of work probably doesn't help at all. This is very true, actually. Um, but uh, perhaps we should meet with Otto or uh, Oliver to ask if he has any advice, given the current predicament in which we find ourselves. Or perhaps we may find ourselves in good graces with our aspiring boss. I don't know. Arnold, you do the talking for this one. <laughs> yeah, boss, how do you want to handle it? As he, as you say it, he just kind of like stares for a moment like, at this point he's just, he just rolling with it. <laughs> because the more he fights it, the more they insist. <laughs> um, well, I think we should talk to Oliver. Uh, he might have some insight or extra information we can use and exploit. And you know what they say, information's always power. So any other conversations uh, of this, this evening you wish to uh, take care of? Um, I think Roscoe will go up to Frenzy and say, uh, you know, um, I appreciate you trusting me, even though the plan didn't work out. Not just anyone will slash your arm when you ask them to. Well, 
you know, I thought it was pretty weird. And I really didn't want to hurt you bad. But, you know, you were asking and we kind of got to that point. And then I was just like, well, so, you know, maybe it didn't work out. But at least I'm glad you're not hurt. And st- you were asking me to hurt you, not me. So. Yes. Consent is important. But um, also, I just wanted to let you know I... I appreciate you being a do or die sort of friend. Oh, thank you. Uh, quite likewise. I'm not sure what I've done to sacrifice for you yet, but um, rest assured, I definitely would. You bled for me just today. What are you talking about? Oh, I suppose this is true. Um, but yeah, I. I, I don't know. I never really, before I met you, I didn't know what I thought of alligators. I generally thought I wanted to avoid their mouths, but. Oh, that's pretty sound advice all the same. But yes, I just, I very much appreciate you. Oh, thank you. All of I you, do. actually. He'll he'll turn to the room. Um. Although, Tully, we really need to, uh, discuss your love of fire at some point i think <laughs> i'm quite fond of you i don't know if i'm that fond enough to uh leave behind one of my true loves but you know i, I like all you guys you're fun to set things on fire with you know i'm wondering if this fire thing is turning into an alcohol sort of relation in which we need an intervention well, i don't even know if that's been invented yet <laughs> the only alcohol problem I've ever heard of is when you run out and you can't get any more, where the flat <laughs> show up and take all your stuff. It's terrible. And I, and I go here, here as I pour everyone a shot. <laughs> so, morning comes, and you're first expecting to see the. Oh, the annoying humans and spectators that typically come you know with well the morning light the observation of the humans is they typically go about you know their, their <coughs> zookeeper duties sorry um no it's okay uh everyone seems a little bit morose you know it is clear that some significant damage was done to the zoo. Uh, and it is closed to, as you would call it, the spectators and, and their thing. You still have to tend to be an animal because there are keepers around, but everything is a little bit more subdued. And you know, there's there's a lot of whispers going on. What happened? Who was there? I heard there's a lot of fire and you can still smell the, 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 well, for lack of a better word, the burning that happened over a large portion of the zoo the following evening. Still, still ripe within the, the, the air in this place. So I know we have the Gazette and whatnot, but like, I really mm. wonder for like the human paper, arsonist strikes zoo again. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> It would say something something along those lines of I don't know you know further break-ins in the zoo destruction of property you know, law enforcement you know you know puzzled. Are they blaming the the actual mob for this? <laughs> you guys don't know, uh, but eventually <laughs> the day passes and we get into evening. You know, and and the. The Central City Gazette goes out and, you know, the story by Giselle Gazelle yet again says, you know, know, severe attacks at the zoo, uh, but front and center, Owl Capone arrested. And it it goes into, it goes into detail. The 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 raid, you know, within within the aviary, uh, you know, information has been you know let loose about the roost, 
and you know the doors were thrown open and Al Capone was you know brought in for you know racketeering uh, distribution and possession of alcohol you know possession and and running of a speakeasy you know and the list just goes on and on and on you know Giselle you know goes into her her usual tirade you know questioning like oh you know you know, was there a leak? Who 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 divulged information? This, that, and the other thing. Uh, and like there are secondary and tertiary articles, each relating to, you know, each one of those claims. Uh, you know, what was the roost all about? You know, was it a front for further things, you know, beyond, you know, just the the speakeasy and the gambling and what have you. So like every every one of the charges is an article and how much information. Um, but, uh, you know, this is ever, this is all anyone is talking about this, this evening is Capone being removed. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Um, let me put it this way, Ted. Carlos is, is in shock, right? So I can only imagine how the citizens of Central Zoo feel. Yeah. This, this is good news, right? This uh, is fantastic? Well, sort of. Question mark? I don't know. I mean, it feels kind of dirty to bring the cops in, but I don't think we brought the cops in. But also, we're going to have to deter the cops. Maybe we should burn down the, uh, I don't know what they call it, a police station. Maybe we should burn down their police station. Uh, uh, it's a little bit too rash, Tully, but uh, more importantly, with Capone out of the picture, there's a lot of territory to be grabbed up. It's going to be one hell of a power struggle right now. A new gang might even come into the picture. Who knows? Oh, oh, oh. Arnold, are you going to start your own gang? Hell no, not with Oliver looking down my neck. You crazy. <laughs> hmm. I think we, I'm pretty sure we would back you. But hold on for a moment. We're not saying this Opposed. in. Wait, are we not saying this in Oliver's uh, place? Or oh, no, no, I assumed we were somewhere else. I thought we were in the safe house. Yeah. Um. But suppose for a moment, Arnold, you did start your own family. You already have an in with Jenny Jangles. We already have an in with the now unemployed pink ladies. Well, we it looks like you guys need to make a new set of dice and put a hippo. <laughs> 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 and we could we could even invite Brad uh Brad Spit Brad Spite, whatever his name is. I break a stick. <laughs> it's like, just the chopsticks I'm holding in half now. And then I, I look side, side, I glance sideways at, at Frenzy and then laugh at him and not give him a job. And Frenzy kicks his ass. Good save. And I just like curl up in my little corner bed that I have in the safe house because I've decided that's my spot. I just piled up a bunch of pillows and like there's wine bottles all over the place. Like it's it's my corner. Well wow. uh, so am I am I hearing a potential new direction or uh is this a you know uh is this just spitballing at the moment? I'm actually down for it OOC Lee. Like in player character wise, like player, I'm all for this, but both player and character understand consent is important, right? And if we're setting up Arnold to be the face of this, like <laughs> uh so <laughs> 
I think it's cool. So Carlos thinks it's very cool, but at the same exact time, Arnold's probably shitting bricks because, like, uh, he's like, listen, you know, like, but, Otto is insane. <laughs> but I feel like shit always just happens to Arnold anyway. <laughs> And he's like, so, I, Ar- I don't know. And then I was the head of a crime family. <laughs> Arnold, give me, give me a moxie roll. You know, give me a get out of a jam. This is a, this is a... <laughs> Are you making him roll against us? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> no. No, he's he's. You know how I say, like, I roll really hot in the beginning of the night, in the beginning of the night, and as, like, you know, it goes Mm -hmm. on, it's, like, it gets shittier and shittier. That's a four total. All right. So, all right. No no information. Uh, You failed. Get an an XP. Woohoo! The content, not knowing what I was going to say, so... Okay. <laughs> I was I was wait I was waiting for class to be like, you know how bad I wrote? I just wrote three ones. <laughs> oh man. Um, so we three should, ones would be a bad thing. <laughs> we should talk yeah. we should talk to Oliver as we plan our new organization. We we've got an inside track. We can get a, we should pump him for as much information as we can before. And we, we gotta play sp- real careful. We put the screws to him. Well, all right. So, if Oliver, we... Oliver is pretty easy to get a hold of, as he was kind of looking to <clears throat> excuse me meet, meet with you guys as well uh, to to kind of get an update as to what's going on and to kind of well update you as to what's going on. Uh, you know, after the activities of last night. So, uh, you know, he asks you all to, to River Bottom. Yet you get uh, a nice little out of the way booth early in the evening, and uh, you know some drinks, refreshments uh, are provided. And Oliver comes in, gives a tip of his cap. So, uh, hope you're as happy as I am today. Well, we've been hard at work. We made sure the pink ladies were out of the way, and uh, Jenny Jangles was not around, and even the, uh, uh, is it the Feather Club? What are we calling them? Flight Club. Even the Flight Club was diminished for the, for the, the shindig last night. So, uh, do we have any new recruits? We're still working on that part. But they weren't there to help Al Capone when she most needed them. Mm-hmm. That, is, uh, that is indeed true. It, and, it uh, appears that you know, some conspicuous absences last night that left uh, one Al Capone a little less prepared than she normally is. We also managed to set most of her territory on fire, burn up some flat paws in the process, and I'm working my way in even deeper with the pink ladies. Excellent news. That's uh, great to hear. Uh, the 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 fires were, were not nice as we got to not have to deal with the humans today. That was a nice little reprieve, if you will. Yeah, humans smell so bad. <laughs> so, uh, Tully's doing all the talking. What about the rest of you? Yeah, I'm gonna mention, um, wow, you know, Jenny didn't jump at the opportunity immediately that, uh, I have a feeling that there will be other opportunities for persuading her. Uh, are you saying this isn't that you're looking to still continue, or are you saying, you know, you want one of our men, or one of our our crew to approach? 
I'll continue working this. Uh, I've built a rapport at this point. Noted. So you guys chat for a little while and, you know, still thinks that it's uh, apropos to, you know, continue down this vein. If you think there are avenues to explore, yeah. you can get any of these, any of this crew uh, to join. Great. Uh, as we have a, a vacuum to fill or no, as the as there is space to claim, I should say, uh, you know, Oliver, you know, wants to know whether any of you are interested in going and talking to some of those that were loosely connected to try and see how much of this territory can be claimed by Otto as opposed to Hambino, who's yeah, you know, it's only been a few days since he had some incidences at his own club, but he's he's got people. He's going to get animals moving in the same direction. So those that act fast are going to have a better chance. Is that anything any of you are interested in doing? So for clarifying purposes... If we are now the recruitment party, does this mean that we are officially in? No. Mm. If uh, if you were if you were in, we would have something a little bit more formal, and it is it's very it's very important to have outliers that do not exactly. How we call it. If you work for Otto, then there's a paper trail. And that that leads to problems. And when we look at one Owl Capone who has tucked her tail feathers in as she was carted out of the aviary, that leads to problems. You guys have managed to do some good things, but I hate to say it, you're awfully slow in getting results. So when we can see larger results or faster results, really just can't can't see the full invite as of yet. I'm just locking eyes with Arnold from across the table, like remembering the conversation that we had last night mm -hmm. yeah like out of character roscoe at this point is like if we haven't done enough at this point like bet we'll get results on our own yeah by we'll the time we're doing thing, enough to be good enough like, for this guy we might as well be working for ourselves yeah gonna, this feels uh, this feels very much like you've been working at a job for five years you go in to ask for a raise and they tell you well how about we don't give you a pay cut Right, like <laughs> it's like it's like no, this is like burn it down. Like this, if this feels like pay, like this feels like training. Back. This feels like training the new hire who makes more than you. Exactly, yeah, I, have, I have experience just like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, you know, even though we're we're on session seven, you guys have completed two jobs. Yeah. Listen, Let's, we're legends. Just say we're legends. Legends. In our well, we started models. like 12. Do you, do you know how many fires we set, man? Like, if every job was a fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. From that angle, I understand. Yeah. We're entirely yeah. satisfied with our own results. <laughs> oh, and that's and that's fine. From your character's perspective, you can have whatever reactions you want. And I'm not trying to say that they're, you know, that they're wrong. I'm just letting you know from a player perspective. Absolutely. <laughs> As you guys have Absolutely. put out, you're not. Yeah. Good oh, no, job. that's entirely <laughs> reasonable. Like, right. I, I yeah. entirely understand that what we are doing right now is not the best work in the world and that we're getting a little bit big for our britches, but that's also very in character for us, and I want to do it anyway. Exactly. Right. Yeah, the, right. The, like, this is who the our character is. <laughs> the last mission you were given was, you know, pick one of these three, either recruit or take out. 
you took out some of the you know some of the flight club you convinced jenny not to join otto but to just leave owl capone and tully is trying to date the the flamingos not so much like hey no talk of recruitment at all uh, so like <laughs> listen that's, that's really not I making totally, any kind of success on the mission i totally and it, you're div- i totally yeah. single-handedly took out all the pink ladies true they weren't there when they were supposed <laughs> to be there and they were results they just weren't the results he wanted oh, I, meant, I, I meant on a date i totally took them all out on a date <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> improper improper uh <laughs> um what? Uh, 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 definition of uh, of terms. So, you know, you guys can do whatever you want, and we'll we'll play we'll play this out. Uh, you know, but I think we'll we'll end it here as uh we deal with your uh hidden or not so hidden indignity of uh you know you guys being told you work too slow. Well, uh, let's so, just say this though as that sure. happens i fixate my hat and that's the cue to let everyone know that i'm on board with their plan <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to end a, the session a little bit early folks so that we can uh get that hippo die made up <laughs> huh. now my only concern here and i need to p- make sure that we're all aware of this because of the three bosses right otto is the extreme chaos gremlin that just shoots first, asks questions, never. We have turned him into the moderate. <laughs> this is True. this is what we are. I just need everyone to realize this. Like we have turned Otto into no longer the extremely violent one, just the middle violent one. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, fine. kids watching at home, this is a good lesson for you that just because the other side is getting more extreme doesn't mean you move. <laughs> so uh thanks for watching as always uh you can you can get access to the free quick start rolls and the form fill pdfs for you know the playbooks for this over on nerdarchy.com uh you've got to check out the store uh you can also sign up for the newsletter to get access to you know the rare, rarely used newsletter as well as once we figure out how to get some player signups for uh, some offline games that Dave and I are going to run uh, of of this, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be communicating through that as well. So uh, make sure you check those things out. And, uh, you know, we'll be back doing our, our normal thing. Uh, Dave and I are here on Sunday nights to do our, our typical live chat. Robin, Carlos and myself will be back for the the finale of untraditionally arcane at hopefully sometime later this month a uh, date to be determined at the moment so uh until next time stay, stay nerdy, nerdy.